People don't realize, they say pickleball's for old people. They, yeah, you know, they don't know. So much. They have no idea, like right. they have no idea. I never, never once in my life did I pitch in a game to where I got the heart workout that I have in, in two hours of pickleball. Yeah. Never once. Welcome back to the future of pickleball. This is the place where the movers and shakers get together with me. We talk about where the sport's going, what their entities are that are taking the future of the game and moving it forward. I've got a very fun, interesting guy today, Brad Penny, Major League Baseball player. We're gonna get into who this guy is and what he's done in his life, but also what he's doing in pickleball. Brad, thanks for coming. Thanks for having me on, man. Appreciate uh, it. I tell you what, this is so cool. I want to tell you guys, I had an opportunity to meet Brad at a brand new pro sports experience called the PBX. So he was in Arizona hosting an event. I was at it. I had more fun, met more really cool celebs. Tell us about what, the, what I'll tell you what, before we start on PBX, tell me about how you found pickleball and how you decided to take it into a business. Uh, my pastor at church asked me to come to an event and we went and played pickleball and you know most people who start pickleball that have never had any paddle experience like myself end up getting beat by someone you feel like you shouldn't get beat by so I went out there I got beat up a little bit and thought man I cannot let that happen again so and, and it was just such a good time you know I've, I've not throughout my life and career I've never had a good time losing and pickleball was my first experience where I actually enjoyed it and I lost so I decided to get better, um, started playing daily, practicing, drilling a lot, and, and you know, with, with what I did in my career with baseball, it's allowed me to meet a lot of pickleball, professional pickleball players, and they started working with me and helping me get better, and has become, I don't want to say an obsession, but it's become a big part of my life to where I play every day. It's great for health, um, cardio. So I, I got a call from, from a buddy of mine, Merker, Kent Merker, who also played baseball for a while, talking about, let's get involved with this professional pickleball with ex-athletes. And I thought, yeah, man, I'm putting all this time into it anyway. I might as well Very try nice. to make as much as I can out of it. And we just kind of got together. I started calling, you know, going through my role decks of players that I played with, teammates, ex-teammates, ex friends, just, just people throughout the MLB that I played with and started making calls. And, and you know, a lot of people are interested. And we, we signed a lot of people up. So uh, that's, that's how it started to where it is now. Cool. Now, I want to tell you guys, so Brad is a two-time All-Star. He has won two games in the World Series, I think, didn't you? Yep. What, didn't yep. you have, like, under a 2.5 ERA in those two games? Uh, I don't know. It, it was probably right around there. Yeah, yeah. And so it is. But you were 16 years in the MLB, weren't you? 14 years, yep. Played with a, a lot of good teams, a lot of good cities, a lot of great experiences. Yeah, a lot of teams. I went to doing my little bio research, and I said, well, no, we better just talk about a lot of teams. You, you, you played across the range of teams. That's really cool. I did, yeah. It was fun. It was a great, good time. Well, one of the things that I find, and I've been looking forward to having Brad on the show, is I've had an opportunity in my travels with Selkirk around the country to meet a lot of ex world-class athletes who have found pickleball later in their life. So when I saw what you were doing with PBX, it really lit a fire under me to find out more. What is the PBX going to be, and how are you guys putting this uh, this product package together? So it's going to be, you know, we're going to do corporate events. I know uh, I know they're working on some, some stuff now. I don't know if I can talk about it now, openly. But when you say corporate events, will this be something you'll be working with big corporations on, yes. on yeah, a, like, a team building events or activities? Yeah, absolutely. We'll have guest speakers for them. Um, we'll have, uh, we'll, we'll just have the interactions and whatever they want. You know, we've had corporations reach out and we're working on stuff and all as soon as it, it gets tied in and locked in, we'll, I'll let you know, you'll be the first to know. Yeah, but, perfect, uh, perfect. You know, and, and we're going to tour, and my idea is, you know, the true pickleball player, I don't think just playing with an athlete is going to be enough. I think that's a good experience for a, for a fan of some of these athletes. We've got some big players from, from big cities and, you know, people that everybody knows, so th that'll be fun for the fan of it. But the true pickleball player, I think, in my head, and we've been talking about it and working on it, I think we need to have an, a, a tournament, like an experience, a PBX tournament, not just... Come play with the pros. Come play and win cash prizes at the end. And Very nice. You can beat athletes. You can play with them. You can 
pay a little extra and play with the, the certain athlete that you want. Um, but I think it's, you, you look at these tournaments and it's crazy. I mean, a lot of people love to play pickleball and, 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 and there are different levels, you know, I don't, I don't think anybody's going to want to come high, high level players going to want to come play with an athlete that's not on their level. I just, in my experience and sure. talking to everybody. So we're working on a lot of different stuff. And, you know, another thing we're, we're looking into is, uh, the travel experience. So we, you pay for a package, you go, we all go to a resort, you know, and somewhere and, and, sure. and that's fun. We're going to, we're going to, I'm trying to tie in the, uh, the pros, you know, to, to be there, to lead basically, you know, we're inexperienced when it comes to tournaments and, and pickleball in general. We need coaches. We need event coordinators, tournament coordinators. I can, I've never ran a pickleball tournament, sure. you know, and, and you look out here and it's kind of overwhelming. So I need someone with experience. Well, and, and, and frankly, you're going to find that there are, we have those people there. We've just got to get them together with you. I'll tell you, the experience that I had after having been at your first event in, in uh, Glendale, Arizona, um, I, I was out on the court with Tino Martinez. I was on the court with Gonzo. I'm an Arizona guy, yeah. Gonzo's. I mean, his feet don't touch the ground. But having an opportunity for to see people looking and seeing, and the skill set that you guys are starting to acquire is getting to be pretty impressive. And so it's fun to see highly skilled athletes turn their turn their skills to our game. It comes pretty quick, don't you find? It does, but again, you know, I put a lot of work in, and I, I try to play at least two to three hours a day and drill a lot. And and like I said, I've been really fortunate to have those pros jump on the court with me sure. and kind of see where I'm at. Like, yeah. Okay, here's what I need to work on. And that does, and, and I think with everyone, like Gonzo, and by the way, Gonzo, one of the best teammates I've ever had, just a superhuman being, and, and always smiling. I mean, he's never yeah. met a stranger. <laughs> um, but, you know, as soon as these guys really take it serious, all of them are going to be good, and it's going to be a great, great product because they are athletes. And, well, I had met uh, Ken Merkel about two or three years ago at a, at a U.S. Open in Florida. Someone introduced me to him and told me what his background was. And he had suggested to me that he said he thought one of the coolest marketing things for pickleball would be having a Major League Baseball team play an NBA team, play an NFL team of pickleball guys. Is anything like that on the, on the horizon? We, we have talked about it. I think the problem we're going to run into is levels. Like if right now I think MLB has a lot of players that are pretty good because they've been playing. NHL would be second and NFL third in my opinion. But... I mean, that, that's where we need some pickleball guys to come and get sure. involved. One, you know, we've been talking to Kyle McKenzie on, on a possible camp for us where right. he can be he a can, natural. He's really good. I, I took he's his He's really camp, good. He's really good. He, yeah. can, he can put people in levels, and, and yeah. I think he would thrive with PBX. And we've been talking to him, so we're working on that. Um, I just think it's, it's, it's going to come. It's, we need these athletes to be serious about it because, you know, as an athlete, I don't want to go out there – and I don't think I would, but there are some people that might not be prepared to come out in the level that they're going to see. They're only going to be unprepared once, uh, though. And, and I agree. And I, agree. I wonder if I that isn't going to be the, the stimulus. Being an, a long-term, experienced pickleball player, I've had great fun having an opportunity to get on the court with people that have much grander pedigrees in life than I do. But it's fun right. to be able to say, hey, let's, let's get her going. Um, <laughs> and for you to beat those guys. I didn't want to go there, but you betcha, I mean, buddy. That's what you it's betcha, about. Yeah. buddy. So the, uh, but something that you you might want to really consider with PBX is the tentacles that we have through Selkirk and Selkirk TV. Every market that you've got players in, we've got people that we can, so they may not all be Kyle McKenzie, right. but they're highly skilled people to move people up through the, through the ranks. And, and we do need that because Kyle yeah. is super busy with his yeah. camps going on. And, and Kyle was just a name I threw out there because I do think he fits with what we want. But yeah, well, and he's a particularly need... experienced coach without, <laughs> That's right. without question. That's right. And, and we do need, you know, I'm, I'm a firm believer of, of, I feel like I could coach someone with what I've learned from all these pros telling me, you know, I can't do it, but yeah. I can tell sure. them what they're supposed to do, and I can't execute it as well as these pros can, but I do know I'm starting to learn more from them. And, and, but like you said, I need, I need we got players everywhere all around right. the country, so I do need those tentacles within Selkirk. Would but be awesome. I, I, I'll tell you, with all of the teaching and programs that I had done over the years in pickleball, natural human biomechanics is uniform across different sports and yeah. you guys have it to the nth degree it's simply a matter in my mind of coaching those skills 
with a paddle and a ball that you're hitting rather than catching it or throwing it. And, uh, and uh, you, you guys are all going to be there very quickly. Now, is there a timeline with when the viewing public might begin to see PBX events coming to their market or nationally? In, in 24, I think we're going to have some tour stops in Florida and probably Arizona. I know they're working on it right now. You've got to get out ahead of it. I mean, you can't wait too long. Right. So I think they have some events, events planned. We're going, to, um, we're going to Naples December 8th through 10th, I believe, and we're going to have a, a small event out there. Okay. Like a pro M type thing. And... Uh, that be similar to what you did in Glendale? Kind of like in Glendale. We'll okay. have uh, Matt Holliday is going to be out there, Tino again, me, um, a couple other people. I, I'd have to look on the list, but Very nice. it should be a good time. I love So sport. December in Naples. December in Naples. Anything hard on the calendar other than that? I, I think there is, but I, I can't. I'd have to look it up. So now, it is, uh, do you have a uh, PBX website yet? There is a PBX website. Just Google PBX Pickleball, and it'll take you right to it. It'll kind of show you our rosters. Oh, perfect. So that would become the hot spot for, for watching as yeah. events start to come on the calendar yeah. and things in that order. Yep, yeah, absolutely. You know, as uh, uh, my show, I'm very often talking with people about the future of the game, where it's going, what's going to happen from a X let's not say X, from a pro athlete standpoint that's into pickleball now, where would you like to see the sport go from your perspective? Just pickleball in general? Just pickleball in general. <clears throat> I think it's getting big enough. I'd like to see these players start getting paid a little more money for, for winning tournaments. Um, because you are going to see, I, I do think in five years it's going to be a completely different game with all these young tennis guys coming out here and the way they're hitting the ball. You're seeing speeds that, and I don't have the experience these pros have, but it just seems to me I'm, I'm seeing speeds harder and harder and harder and harder, right. and it's not stopping. It's not slowing down. Um, I just think it, it's it's going to be a big, big sport, and I think there's a lot of money to be made. I don't know. You know, I'm not on the business side of, of PPA and all that, but, you know, I do hope that, that it becomes a sport to where these guys, with what they're putting their body through, I mean, you look out there and how many events they're playing per day and, and, and just trying to stay healthy and trying to stay out there is, is a task. I mean, right. you know, people don't realize. They say pickleball's for old people. They, yeah. you know, I they don't know. So much. They have no idea. Like, right. They have no idea. Right. I never, never once in my life did I pitch in a game to where I got the heart workout that I have in, in two hours of pickleball. Yeah. Never once. I mean, it's not. Yeah, yeah it, 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 it is interesting, and it, but it is the beauty of having – athletes of your caliber and your history coming in, that validates exactly what a lot of people have been talking about. When someone like you talks about having stood on a pitching mound in Major League Baseball and not have gotten yourself through the workout that oh, you maybe. can in, in a physical. Not even close. I think that's, that, that helps us. Um, as, we, as we start thinking about how the pro athletes come into the game and how you're developing your activities and your things, do you do anything to reach out to ex buddies of yours or, or athletes that you had been on different teams with? With gee, I've found this game. It's cool. It's fun, and I'm having a bloody gas with it. Oh, 100 percent. That's how I built a lot of the baseball guys on the PBX roster with the PBX team. You know, I would, and I'm hoping all the PBX athletes will do the same thing. Is just sure. is reach out, call everybody you can. Let's get this as big as we can. Let's have several players in each city and. and once this gets rolling, you know, it, it takes a little bit to get it going. You of know, course. Just because, one, the inexperience of running something like this. But we're going to get the right people in the right spots, and I think this thing's really going to take off. Cool. I had I know Rick Barry, the basketball player, is yeah. one of your players, and Rick is a fellow that I've seen and played with and been at many events. And, and early when I met Rick, he commented to me, he said, Paul, he said, I waited decades to find a game that could satisfy my my competitive juices again, and he's no kid anymore, but he has one tough old bird on a pickleball court. Oh, yeah, you know, and he loves it. He's, he's like he said, you know, the one thing you miss is, is being around the guys and that competition part of it. Right. You know, when I, as a starting pitcher, I watched four games pitch one. That one game was what I lived for. You know, my whole, my, my week was five days, and my whole week revolved around that pitching that one game, you know, because that was the competition part of it. And, and it, it's exactly what this is. Like, I've got a lot of my ex-teammates doing this. We get to go just like we did in a season. You know, yep. we go play pickleball, and we go hang out afterwards, we go to dinner, and, and just being around the guys and the camaraderie. And, and it's just, you know, it, it's becoming something bigger than what we thought of, I think. You know, it's... That's why we have to have other people come in and help us. But well, and I know we had we at Selkirk had a great experience at the last Super Bowl in Glendale, Arizona, 
where we got a call from the NFL Alumni Association and they said, we would like you to help us put on an event. We would like to drive our NFL alumni to pickleball from a health and wellness standpoint, the fun, the camaraderie. And they said, we just think it would be great for our guys to do it. And it was, I was the, involved with that. It was more fun being at the Super Bowl and having players oh, yeah. involved. It was just a hoot. So I think it's going to come. Uh, you haven't mentioned in your player saying, are you aware of the golfers that are into pickleball? I am. I saw them playing the other day and I'd love to get on the court with them. And man, we've got some, there's some good players. I there's saw. some yeah. really good players. I that. There. Uh, you know, I know, I know a few guys on tour, and I've been talking to them a little bit. We're trying to get some very of them fun involved. So very fun. You know, the more the merrier. We want an entertainment division, actors, singers, whatever you want. Let's go. We want we want right. everybody. So and, everybody's and, welcome. And I think that that's going to be a, a a huge component to help with the growth of the sport because you provide an entertainment venue that is just we grow players. Now let's give them things to get involved right. specifically with that. Right. That'll be very fun. Um, Brad, I want to say thank you so much for coming on with me today. This is exactly what I hoped it would be. Uh, watch for PBX coming up. Look up PBX on P PBX Pickleball on Google. These guys put on a really fun show. I was fortunate to be at one of them just a few weeks ago. Take advantage of it. Thanks so much. Brad, I enjoyed having you. Thanks. Appreciate it.